Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to share my experience about how I learned to develop a website or how I become a web developer. As you know, I learned the basics about programming language in school, but it doesn't help me that much to become a web developer. And I learned pretty much everything by myself from YouTube videos, and I believe uh, these YouTube videos has helped me a lot to develop my skill and gain some knowledge about web development. The first language that I learned to develop websites is PHP language. PHP itself will not help you to develop a complete website. You have to know HTML and if you want to make your website beautiful, you need to know CSS. And if you need a client's process, for example, a validation on a web browser something like that or like uh, alert something some basic stuff you need to learn JavaScript yeah these three language is is where I start learning PHP uh, learning HTML CSS and JavaScript you don't need to know a lot of them because you can search everything from Google but you need to know some basics how to create an HTML files, how to open an HTML file, how to link HTML to CSS and JavaScript. Then you will learn PHP. PHP is a language that will help you to connect with database, right? PHP connect to database. So this is really important concept when you learn PHP. You need to know how to connect PHP to the database. And after you learn PHP, you will export to database like MySQL or MariaDB or Postgres. If you want to uh, create PHP website on your computer, you need to create or set up virtual environment or development environment for on your computer first. And the software that I use to set up is uh, SAM. If you know how to install SAM and if you know how to use like uh, MySQL or MariaDB, this this software comes with everything. For example, it comes with uh, Apache. Uh, it comes with Apache. This is a virtual server and it comes with PHP language. It comes with uh, MySQL and PHP my admin. I use PHP my admin to manage database so I don't have to use command line. So it can reduce the time to learn how to build up a website a lot when you use PHP my admin because it is a web UI that helps you to manage a database easily. Okay, if you know everything like this, you will be able to create an website on your computer and when you finish create a website on your computer you can upload them upload them to a web server okay to a web server the, the whole process gonna be like this you learn how to create a website on your computer this is for beginner okay uh, local computer right and then when you finish uh, build on your local computer you can move them to uh, to web server okay web server so there are a lot of web server that you can use to upload PSP and MySQL database. For example, you have HostGator or you have like Hostinger or Namecheap. So when you have this web server, you need a domain name. Uh, you need domain name so you can access your website. Domain name. So if you want to publish your website, first thing you have to buy, you have to buy a 
domain name and you have to buy server and then you everybody can when you upload uh, the files from your local computer to web server everyone in the public can access your website so how to upload this one this uh, website to web server to upload a uh, software you can use uh, the web UI or you can use uh, FileZilla to upload everything to web server let's talk about uh, a little bit code editor you can use Visual Studio code nowadays uh, to code PHP HTML CSS and JavaScript so and then when you have the website uh, you can upload to the web server all right this is all about this video I just want to share some of my experience how I learned to build a website at the first stage all right thank you so much for watching this video